Hey, what's up? It's Dia Direct, and welcome back to Girlfriend FM. And I am here with the foxy lady herself, Miss Pam Greer, who is taking us on a real life journey. <laughs> and so, in part one, you talked about, you know, getting the diagnosis of cancer, stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. Four going into five. Wow. So, I had no symptoms, no pain. At 39? At 39. Wow. That's very, very real. So how did you get from the diagnosis to the point of healing? What happened? I'm still healing. People think they heal and they're in remission now, no problem. You don't know how your body functions, that every day your body is battling, mm -hmm. you know, uh, irregularities and toxins and your immune system breaks down and it has peaks and, and dips and waves. So my physician, my oncologist, sent me to Chinatown to uh, investigate um, the herbalist that could provide herbs for me to build so my system. So you never system. did the chemotherapy Yes, or I that oh, stuff? please. I had no hair. When Tim Reed called me to do Frank's Place, I turned it down because I said, I, Tim, I don't look the same. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be an actor again. Was any of that an issue for you? I mean, did, did it even matter? Did you have vanity during that time or were you just fighting mm, for your life? No, you're, you're basically do, where's my will? Your child, you don't know if you have a will or not until you're, it, you encounter Yeah, no idea what challenge. you can do until your back is up against the exactly. wall. Exactly. Yeah. And so I realized I had, my will was, I won't have a career. And that's okay. I could have retired when I was 26. As long as you were alive. With the successes. But I wasn't, it wasn't about fortune wasn't about fame it was about who am I as a human being mm -hmm. so you you get a lot of time to reflect because not only did I hit that wall but that night I saw a, a um, documentary called mind over matter mm -hmm. with Bill Moyers mm -hmm. and I give him homage in my book he saved my life he was visiting uh, and congratulations uh, by the way on your book thank that you. is a New York Times seller yes bestseller and doing yes. very well very 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 yes. well um, Foxy, My Life in Three mm -hmm, Acts. Mm -hmm, which is going to be a film. We'll talk about that later. Ooh. But anyway, um, Bill Moyers was visiting these, sh these, these shamans and shamans and witch doctors and oncologists from all cultures. Mm -hmm. And I was watching this show. He was in China. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of hospitals because they're spiritually a little bit more evolved than many cultures. Um, this woman had a, a tumor on her back if you will, size of an orange. Mm. They did acupressure massage, mm -hmm. acupuncture with the needle, and she had uh, consumed herb teas that they made for her, concocted for her. Branches, leaves, or just things I'd never, I couldn't identify. She was drinking these teas, and in five weeks you see on camera this tumor flatten out and disappear on her back, and she had no more cancer so cells in her body. So what did you take, what did you take? Uh, I know I was taking Dong Wai, which is now a, a relative. You can get it, you know, at supermarkets and drugstores. It's a, it's an herb, but they gave me these herbs that built my immune system, and with mind over matter, the the yoga meditation, um, pretty much balanced me. My physician said uh, Western medicine had done all he could do with it, mm. and it's time to balance it with Eastern medicine, yin and yang balance. When you're unbalanced in life you've drank too much of one thing or you've eaten or consumed, whatever it is, that you get imbalanced mm. and you, your, your body becomes inflammatory and the foods that, and then you can eat inflammatory foods that make you too hot or too cold and you're not balanced. So they, they check my pulse, my eyes, my hair, my skin, my breathing, my gums, which I do with my horses. I check their gums to see how healthy they are. Because you're a cowgirl. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, I felt differently. Mm. Physically, I my sleep, my scent, my ev everything about my body your was scent. now being balanced. Mm. Yes, your scent. You can tell if you've eaten, you know, meat. You drank coffee. How much vegetables you have in your body. You can tell how your body is producing, emitting it like a smokestack. You know, what have you eaten? What is good? What your body keeps and what your body throws out and doesn't want. If you're it's giving out too much of something, then you're having too much of something. It was just it was just logic and common sense. So I went to this Chinese bookstore, was, and then there was the book form of Mind Over Matter, and then I saw it, the 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 video the, on television on PBS, and I said, "This is this is my way." So this and is your way of life. He now. saved my life. 
literally by saying I will always find every Chinatown in this country to go to and keep my Your herbs. Western doctor said modern medicine had done everything that it could. Western medicine. And then you went mm -hmm. to? Eastern. Chinatown. Uh, theory, theory of healing and balance my life. And, and what's interesting, the synergy in the, in the universe I wasn't the only one that was doing it. Mm -hmm. When I would go, there'd be every walk of life. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, everyone's into yoga and Tai Chi and herbs and green tea. And when they talk about uh, this, this one, my herbalist uh, was saying, well, well, Pam, here's what we want you to do. And this is what we do in our culture. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of obese people. Uh, we don't have a lot of diseases here. We don't do a lot of cutting. That's why you don't see a lot of hospitals mm -hmm. because we do it at home. When you have two billion people, you know, you have to learn how to take care of yourself. Right. So drink hot tea with your meal so that the, the, it, it continues to keep the oils and the fats from animal fat. Green tea? What kind of it, well, hot Green tea? or black, but it's hot. Any mm -hmm. hot beverage. Mm -hmm. so, so it doesn't coagulate the fats at all, and they stay in your system. Mm -hmm. When you drink, drink your cold soda three or four hours later but not a cold soda with the meats and the fats and the things that will stay in your system and that will turn into something that is putrid. We want your system to be clean, clean get it out of your system. Mm -hmm. Your body takes what it needs and the rest needs to be gone from your system, mm. which is temperature, thermodynamics. So when we're talking about heat and cold, like, oh, so kids learn that in school. Oh, yes, fats and oil will solidify in cold temperature. Mm. So you drink hot and it goes through your body gets out of your system. Mm. That's what you want. You don't want that staying in your system, in and your so intestines. Now you're, now you're in the healing process. I, I, I was healed, as they say, but I'm still healing. Mm -hmm. I think our body heals every day. I think our bodies are attacked every day. But your lifestyle also changed, and that um, had a lot to do with it? it? Probably, but I always have, I have my own well. Mm -hmm. So I have my fresh water, no chlorine in it, mm -hmm. no fluoride, no you know, pesticides, no uh, anything that could be uh, toxic, which mm -hmm. they're trying to cut out fluoride out of water. Mm -hmm. They're trying to, and they have you go through your Brita system, have clean, pure water. Right. You know, everyone's, everyone knows. Our instincts are telling us, and it's universal. But All of a sudden, everyone to, we're is talking about it. We're going back to the beginning, it. though. Wait, everybody. Wait. But, well, mm -hmm. see, we, we had our roots set, and then we went to become this fast-growing tree, fast-growing life, fast-growing to death, quickly to die a fast life. We don't have to be that fast. Our technology, come on now, I love my iPad, <laughs> love my iPhone. Maybe how did we get through life without a fax machine right. and all of the, the, you know, the things that, that have evolved to little tiny things. So we ha we're going to have that because it's cerebral and we think faster than the sound of, of light anyway. So let's balance it with our brains being on top, speeding through the universe, and our bodies grounded. Well, when we come back, let's talk a little bit more about balance. And I want to find out from you, from Pam Greer, what is her advice to other young sisters who are following in her footsteps and how she thinks it's important for them to find balance both health-wise and life, love, and relationships. And we love to talk oh, about girl, that. Oh, girl, that's a novel. That's Ooh, huge. No. I will be here all day. No, no. Just, just <laughs> trust me. We're going to get it done quick. We'll be right back. It's Dear Director right here on Girlfriend FM with Foxy Lady, Pam Greer.